Long heralded as America's sports car, the ZR1 is the most powerful production Corvette ever made, foregoing the standard pushrod V8 for one with four cams, 32 valves, and 405 horsepower. The ZR1's LT5 engine is a multinational effort, with engineering assistance supplied by England's Lotus, an assembly carried out by Mercury Marine in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Final assembly of the entire car is performed where Corvettes have long been built, in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Carrying 200 pounds more than a standard Corvette and wearing wider tires, the ZR1 is a little less nimble, but more than makes up for this in sheer power and speed. The ZR1 attained an honest 178 miles per hour in our latest road and track top speed test, which places it a solid third in this group of sports cars. Drag strip launches are uneventful and easily repeatable, making it child's play to get 0 to 60 clockings in the 5 second range all day long. And the big V8's power band is so broad that you seldom have to worry about being in the wrong gear. The Corvette's structure is unusual, with fiberglass panels that are bonded to a skeletal steel frame. This structure exhibits some flex, which takes away from the feel of precision, but tires, brakes, and suspension geometry are all so good that this is more of a subjective demerit than anything else. The ZR1 six-speed transmission has an extremely tall top gear for relaxed cruising, and cockpit adjustable suspension damping makes those longer journeys more comfortable. Chevrolet introduced the Corvette in 1953 as the all-American answer to the very popular British roadsters of that era. Named after a sleek and fast Canadian submarine chaser of World War II, the first Corvette was fitted with a fiberglass body and the blue flame pushrod inline six engine. Although the fiberglass body and front engine rear drive configuration have become integral components of the Corvette's design, the body shape, engine, and chassis have seen much change over the last 40 years. In 1990, Chevrolet launched the ZR1 project with a mandate to build a supercar that would compete with Ferrari, Porsche, and other European sports cars. Though the last of the 6,938 ZR1s rolled off the production line on April 28, 1995, the ZR1 remains one of the fastest and most powerful production cars in the world.